As winter weather kicks into high gear, one thing that might not kick into gear as fast as you would like are those who are employed to remove all that snow that Mother Nature is bringing to town. We are uh, you know, a little bit short on staff as far as uh, plow drivers, salt drivers, I think sidewalk across the board uh, in the industry. We're, we're all short. On Monday, the forecast called for snowfall much of the day, so DEQ Property Services had to find a solution. What we did today is we stagger started all of our guys instead of coming in at 10 a.m. You know, they can, we have drivers that are just now coming in at 1, 2, 3 o'clock. Uh, so that we know that they can make it through uh, you know, the business hours when they close. Companies say they continue to put out the call for workers. If we, if we were struggling in any department, it would be the sidewalk removal. Um, we, we will have people that apply, um, and then when we actually call them and, or have them come in, a lot of times they're not coming in for the actual interview. As private companies were to combat worker shortages, the Road Commission for Oakland County is starting to see some relief. Late last year, we were able to bring in about, uh, I think, close to 20 new uh, drivers towards the end of 2021. Um, we could still use a few more, but we've got an adequate number on hand. Macomb County Department of Roads echoes the same message and a statement officials tell Fox 2 that they are not currently dealing with any shortages. Wayne County admits they do have a shortage of snowplow drivers, but the shortage is not severe enough to have an impact on operations. Over in the city of Detroit, crews were out salting and plowing main thoroughfares since 7 a.m. Monday and will work around the clock with the second shift clocking in for the evening. City officials also say that due to a shortage of drivers in the industry, that they will work with staff and drivers to complete their routes in a timely and efficient manner. As companies work to build up their teams, they're using higher wages and bonuses to attract workers are probably, I would say, one of the highest paying uh, contractors in the area. Well, we do have referral bonuses. We have new hire bonuses. We have paid training. So like I said, our company does do a lot. Uh, we go above and beyond. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.